Oh my god, I can see where it's coming. Oh my god, that's awful. Fuck's sake. So I'm unable to continue with the um, exterior wall whilst it's drying and I'm figuring out how to get rid of all the scum. So I've decided to go back to the roof, not the uh, not the tile roof that we spoke about late, um, earlier. Also, thank you all for the great advice. I'm going to implement that. But anyway, back to the corrugated iron. So um, this still leaks surprisingly. Not where it was leaking before, but um, new areas. So I'm going to get on top and try and fill it. I've got some support this time. Say hi. Yay. Um, and that's just obviously to make sure that I don't fall through the roof. We'll see what happens. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like paint, but thicker, so more of like a, a light glue texture. Let's see. Oh my god, I can see where it's coming. Oh my god, that's awful. Fuck's sake. Fuck. Shit. Oh my god. I think we're discovering right now it's even more shoddy than I initially thought so yeah that's why it's leaking it's not secured at all So this is the new roof I just paid for. I just um, I discussed it in yesterday's video. Now look, can you see it's not it's not attached properly? That's why it's leaking into the storage room. Okay, it's another change of plan. Um, I obviously can't. Um, try and water seal that or um, hydro block it because it's not even attached and it would just be a waste of product and time um, I'm so annoyed um, I'm gonna have to go into um, Leroy Merlin and either buy some more concrete or Actually, you know what? I think I'll go into Leroy Merlin, buy maybe even duct tape, attach it, then maybe put some concrete over the top, um, and then hydro block it. I'm um, sorry, I can't really express myself uh, right now. I feel very frustrated and annoyed. we are on the land to the rear of my property so you can see that's that's the storage room and that's um part of my garden you may be wondering what this is <laughs> it's very makeshift so i took the corrugated iron that they that they removed from the roof and i've placed it along the property line between um my house and this land because there is this I don't know if it's bamboo or um, I don't know what it is I don't know what to call it but this grows really quickly and really fast and it was growing extremely close to the property line and um, when I first moved in it actually would touch around this wall so I was quite lucky in that um, we made contact with the um, owner of this land, so it's for sale. We made contact with the owner of this land and um, his cousin or someone came and they removed all of this. That was about two, no, maybe three or four months ago and it's now grown back in all its glory. Apparently in Madeira, they're supposed to tend to land like this every two years. I'm not sure if that happens in practice, but that's what they say. Anyway, so I've placed the corrugated iron here, so hopefully it will stop the weeds or whatever that plant is called growing so closely to my land. Ideally, I would have put um, weed killers, but again, it's not my land. I can't 
do that. Probably shouldn't even be standing on it, but we'll keep that as a secret. So I have my own lavada, which you can't see it, but goes through there, comes out here, and it hits this property. Sorry, it hits this storage room. So as you can see, there's some mold on the outside. There's also a bit of mold on the inside. The plan is I've got some white vinegar um, from Continent. Um, I think it was like 95 cents, so really cheap, but difficult to find. Um, so normally I would use, Leroy Merlin has an anti-mold spray, which I think is really good, but unfortunately the mold always comes back. I've read online that white vinegar is supposed to be really good. So hopefully if I use this and then I'm going to put um, an aqua stop treatment on the top. So treat the mold or get rid of the mold, leave it for about an hour and then apply some sort of aqua stop solution to stop the water from affecting the wall. Or well, that's the plan at least. It may not work out, but I'll just try again. <laughs> All I can do is keep trying. <laughs> Be honest i'm not confident in the efficacy of this um i'm gonna leave it for half an hour and if it looks the same i'm just gonna go to leroy merlin and get the proper spray it's been about 20 minutes and i can't notice any sort of change so i've had a little thing and maybe instead of um, mold this is more along the lines of like um like pond scum so it's not safe to scrub mold because of the spores, but I feel like pond scum is probably fine. We're outside. I'll hold my breath as I do it. It should be fine. So I've got this. I've reloaded the um, white vinegar and let's see. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm just... Um, at this point i'm vlogging my fails so i'm gonna start with the bit that's the worst to see if it actually works and if it does then i'll move out i'll spread out Philippe, go go okay i i think it's working i think it is It's working. It's very slow, but it's working. One thing I really lack in, and I'm sure this isn't a surprise, is upper body strength. It's really taking it out of me. It's like a, uh, a workout. Not that I've ever really gone to the gym, but it's a workout nonetheless. My guns, guns of steel. Okay, let's start with the pros. The veins are gone, so you know there was kind of like a, a veiny system, I'm gonna call it, I don't know. But, Philippe, nope, out. But now I can see these darker spots or, or dots. This bit is, um, I think it's like where the paint has chipped. Yeah, it is where like it's worn away and chipped. But, down here it could either be a case of maybe i need to scrub harder or maybe that is mold um also i know previously i spoke about using like a a mold remover spray um upon reflection i don't think that's the best idea because i d even though the water does appear to be um dirty because it's it's going through mud 
I don't know where it's ending up. Maybe someone's using it to clean their clothes or I don't know, um, maybe animals are drinking from it. I don't know. So putting harsh chemicals on the wall, which will then drip into the lavada, probably isn't the best idea. So I'm going to stick with the white vinegar and just good old muscle grease 